You got to find the passion in your life and move towards it, progress through it. And those passions may change, but if you don't have a thing in your life or you want to show up as the best version of yourself to that thing, you're not living, my man. This is Chris Williamson. I actually got to spend some time with Chris Williamson not long ago, a few months ago. Super solid dude. Really like this guy. Really like his podcast. Like what he's doing. Big fan. Uh, and also just a super, just like fun guy to talk to. He, he really is the way, the way that he is on this podcast is how he is in interaction, sitting around at a bar, shooting the shit. We had a great time. Me, Will Roush and him. Awesome. And there were a few other dudes, but it was just really, it was a really, really interesting. We were at the heterodox uh, conference. It was really fun. Um, but I was really grateful to spend some time with him, but I saw this clip come up. And we're going to play through it because I just want to, I thought this was interesting as well. Like I'm really wanting to dive into some clips lately and just like dig a layer deeper here. So let's just check this out real quick. I had a psychotherapist called Adam Lane Smith on my podcast. And he said that male depression gets treated like female depression. Men are made to feel loved and accepted when all they want to do is feel capable and powerful. He used this example of the Blitz in World War II. Before the war started, there were these psychiatric wards and they had patients. And these patients had been totally comatose, unresponsive. Then the Blitz starts. So there were fires and there were injuries all over London and there were ambulances and fire engines and there was no one to drive them. These men got up and started driving fire engines and ambulances. These men that had been unresponsive for years and years and years. Give a man a purpose and the ability to achieve it and he will crawl over broken glass with mm -hmm. a smile. Really well said. And here's the thing. I think that there's, you see this in self-help and therapy, a lot of these different, different modalities here that generally speaking, and there are outliers, of course, but generally speaking, men are driven by purpose and progress. That's why men in the gym can pursue tangible, very tangible things, right? The weight goes up. There's the bar, the barbell is a barbell. The weights are the weights. They don't change. They are what they are, right? Unless you're the liver king and then you, you know, do some weird shit, <laughs> but the weights don't change. You can tell, you can literally tangibly feel, right? Your progress. When you go from being able to deadlift 500 to be able to deadlift 600, that is at the tangible difference. You've done the thing. And I think a lot of times male depression does get treated like female depression, which de female depression, generally speaking, is a lot more nuanced. If you're a man and you're struggling with depression and you aren't feeling progress in your life and something you're passionate about, that's probably has something to do with it, right? If you haven't found a passion, maybe you work a job you fucking hate and yeah, you may progress in that, but it doesn't have any substance to you. If you haven't found something you're passionate about, if you haven't, don't, don't live a principled life and you don't know what those things are that will matter when you move the needle. Yeah. You're going to be depressed, dude. That's why we have the capacity to be depressed is to let us know. Oftentimes if we're not up to our potential, if we're not moving in a direction, we have men oftentimes have to move the fucking needle. We've got to. It's, it, it's, it's in us, right? And it takes work. And this is not to undermine or belittle mental illness. That's not what this is about. I'm not talking about people that have clinical depression. I'm talking about people that struggle with depression and bouts, acute depression. If you can't find that thing that you are passionate about and tangibly improve at this, right? And I know this so well. I love this podcast. I love sitting down and doing this. I love having conversations. And when I got shadow banned and shit was moving the wrong direction and everything stalled out, I was so goddamn depressed because something I cared about that I worked for was getting stolen from me. And it wasn't working. And I had to reevaluate. It took months to come back and be like, all right, change directions. Boom, now things move again. All right, cool. That's where we're at right now. We're moving. Things are tangibly moving. The numbers go up, things change feel better in the gym. I'm in there. How many days a week am I in there? That's a tangible thing. Is it five? Is it four? I want to get in there at least four, right? How's my golf game going? I have these tangible things that I'm passionate about. That I care about, right? I'm putting in the work. Am I, am I, when I'm out elk hunting, am I seeing elk? Am I moving in the right direction? Am I, am I, do I have an understanding of what I'm doing or do I feel confused? These are all things that I can grasp that I care about knowing that I have a tendency to stall out and that leads to depression, which makes me not want to do things, which doesn't help, which then leads to be me more depressed and frustrated, right? That is a typical male cycle. I'm not a woman, so I can't speak to the typical female cycle, 
But I think a lot of that has to do with comfortability and access to oneself internally. I think that that, that that's general feminine masculine separation there, right? Internal versus external, tangible versus intangible. And I think we can't treat them all as a one size fits all thing. And what Chris did there was articulate something beautifully that I think, and, and it shows, right? You can see that in men. Now, if you're making progress in something you don't care about, that might put the bandaid on it for a while, but you've got to find the passion, man. You got to find the passion in your life and move towards it, right? Progress through it. And those passions may change, but if you don't have a thing in your life where you want to show up as the best version of yourself to that thing, you're not living, my man. You are not living. 